something. Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy and today we are at one of my favorite places on Prince Edward Island and that is Basin Head. I got Bryn and my cousin Ryan over here. The rest of the family is down by the beach. But the reason why I really like this spot is because they have this awesome channel right here where the current actually pulls you along out into the ocean and you can jump off the sides into it. It's kind of hard to explain. Here you can see a couple people jumping in. So as you can see, you can jump off the sides there and then there's some crazy people who jump off the bridge in the center. And then when you hit the water, it actually pulls you out to the ocean. Like there's a current that pulls you out. I don't know if you can tell. Most of the people just swim over to the ladders and climb back up to jump again. But if you want, you can let it pull you out to the ocean and then you can swim back around over to the beach and stuff. But yeah, it's a really cool spot. I've never been anywhere quite like it. So, uh, I, so I always love to come here whenever we come to the island. So yeah, I think we're gonna go jumping now. You guys ready? You, you guys are supposed to say something. <laughs> guys so we are now heading out from Basin Head. I had a great time. I uh, met a couple fans actually so shout out to everyone who came up and said hey. But now we are headed back into town. We are gonna get changed, shower up and then go out for dinner and some cow's ice cream which PEI is famous for and Bryn is very excited about. Did you just punch the ceiling? <laughs> And then after that we are gonna go back to the family cottage which I showed you in a vlog a couple days ago and we're gonna spend the night there and then uh, the next day is our last day in PEI which is kind of sad. But I am looking forward to getting back to the Albo house and seeing the guys and uh, making some new videos for you guys. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the PEI vlog series. If you are, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are enjoying the drone shots, definitely smash that thumbs up button. All right, I'll see you guys back in the city. All right, so we just got to the restaurant. All I see is that it's called a restaurant. I don't actually know the name of it, but it smells good. Nope, that doesn't fit. <laughs> Dad, you're supposed to let me film your food. So we just left the restaurant. The food was pretty good, but we were there for way too long. It took them like an hour to bring the food out. And then they were having issues with the bills and all that stuff. And now I'm just freaking tired. But we got to go get some ice cream because Bryn loves her cow's ice cream. So we're walking over there now and uh, we'll see what flavors they have. It's also way too cold for ice cream. But, that won't stop. but you're only on PEI once in a while. And cow's ice cream is that good, so we're getting it anyways. But it is actually freezing. And I'm wearing a t-shirt. I'm not happy about it. You can probably hear the wind right now. So 
So Cows is an ice cream store primarily, but they also have some really cool clothing. They do these really funny like cow related puns. So here's some of them. Moo Craft, Angry Herds, Bat Cow vs Super Moo, Finding Moori, the Moonians. Pokemon, Poke Cow Moo. I'm not gonna lie, they're super cheesy. It's Brin's ice cream is melting all over the place. Mine's good. <laughs> Look at your hand. Yeah, I don't know what to put on. So what'd you get, Brin? Um, peanut butter boom and wowie cow. And is it good? Well, I have to leave it. Because There's nothing. Everywhere. I got orange pineapple and it's delicious. As you can tell, I've already eaten like 90% of it. Right. No, no, that's good. Thanks. Thanks, guy. Thanks, guy. Offering to take a picture. I thought I was taking a selfie, but I'm vlogging. <laughs> Happy now? Yes, finally. It's like the second last day. Mm -hmm. We definitely should have came the other day. Yeah. When it was actually it was sunny outside. Sunny. <laughs> At least we got some before we left. Maybe we'll get some tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Why not, right? Okay, we're gonna walk back to the house now. And we're gonna pack up and head to the family cottage, which I showed you the other day, and we're gonna spend the night there. All right, guys, so we are now at the family cottage. It's like one in the morning. I just finished my editing for this vlog. We didn't really do too much at the cottage because we got here at like 9 p.m. So we pretty much just watched a movie, and then everybody went to bed, and then I stayed up to finish editing. Also, I just wanted to say some of you may have noticed that some of my drone footage is a little bit shaky Like it's not super noticeable I finally figured out what the cause was of that because sometimes it's not there and sometimes it is there and it turns out I forgot to take off this little tiny piece of white foam that is attached to the gimbal which controls the stability of the camera and so I'm pretty sure that's what's causing it to shake a little bit so I'm gonna take that off and try shooting with the drone tomorrow and hopefully the shake will be completely gone and I will have flawless drone footage from this point on but anyways I know today's vlog was a little bit shorter than normal but nonetheless I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time toodles is jammed in the box fourth and stepping to the upside Scarlet Safari as they come oh, off. That's Scarlet Safari, that's us. Right. They have four lines for this swarming on four teams. And Shalera is right there on the outside. Along with Paul Matt, Spike City is in third. Oh! It's Shalera for this. Shalera three, 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 three. Oh